Hey folks, this is Rocco here from Simmer.io. I have something I'm really excited about today, and that's Project Tiny from Unity. Project Tiny is Unity's answer for getting games uh, out onto the mobile web. So, for instance, if you wanted to make a game and have it playable on your mobile web browser, Project Tiny is a great solution. Um, they also have their WebGL export, but the Achilles heel of that is the performance is actually pretty terrible on mobile devices. So this is what they're doing to fill in those gaps. So here's Project Tiny, and I'll share the URL in the video comments. But if you scroll down here, it shows you a picture of the stuff and all the features and functionality. And down here is this great workshop that they've created. It's called the Project Tiny Workshop, and it basically goes through how to set up uh, an application and how to do all the coding for that application. And this is important because the coding is in a new style called the Entity Component System. So it's not going to be mono behaviors and things that you're necessarily used to. You're going to have to adopt a new way of coding. Also, in this preview release, they are using TypeScript instead of C Sharp. So TypeScript is basically a brand of JavaScript that introduces types. Uh, I'm personally a web programmer by day, so I kind of like it, but um, apparently that they're working on bringing in the, the C Sharp stuff so that it's more unified with the rest of the Unify or Unity development environment. So, they also have this nice section of docs, and this is a little buried. It was kind of hard for me to find it. Uh, I will share this URL at the bottom of the video. But this is all the getting started docs and API docs about tiny mode. So here's getting started. There's a great intro for Unity developers. And then, of course, you can go down into the individual modules, and you can see documentation still in progress for some of these. So this is a preview package, and you really... Um, have to know that you are getting yourself into something that's sort of mostly finished but not quite there. Another thing that Unity is offering right now is this Project Tiny in their Unity forums. And I've noticed that the developers on Unity are actually pretty, um, they're, they're actually paying attention to this one and answering questions pretty quickly. I'd imagine that's because they're excited to have this out in the wild and, and they're really excited to also iterate on the project as well. So without further ado, let's try and set up this Project Tiny project with some of the sample applications that they've given you. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring up Unity Hub. If you don't use Unity Hub, I would highly recommend it. It's a great way to get multiple installs of Unity onto your machine without having to do a lot of finagling in your operating system. So in here, you can go into installs, and I actually have 2018.3.0 F1. That's the one that I'm using right now. And that is the version that they're recommending for this in the preview release. If you need to get that, you go into beta releases, and there would be a download button here. But of course, I've already got it. So I'm going to go into projects, and I will create a new one. And let's call it Tiny. I hope I didn't name something else Tiny already because I've been playing with this a bit. Uh, the big thing is you want to make sure that you are using this beta version of Unity. And I'm going to go ahead and create the project. You can leave 3D as 3D. Um, project Tiny right now only supports 2D games, but you'll see it's a whole sort of separate mode and, and the template for 3D doesn't really matter. So I'm going to set that up. And this will take a little while to load. Okay, here we are in Unity. So the first thing that we need to do is install Tiny Mode. It's not directly in the beta package. So I'm going to go to Window. And there should be something called Package Manager in here. And instead of just picking a package over here, I need to go into Advanced and Show Preview Packages. And in here, there should be something called Tiny. Tiny mode, there we go. And we'll install this. Okay, we've just finished installing. It says non-legacy sprite atlas packing mode required. I'm just gonna say yes. I don't know what that means, but sounds important. 
we'll close this off. And now we have this new area here called Tiny. So the next thing I want to do is import the preview packages or the preview samples that is. So I'll just click import samples and that'll take a few seconds and we'll go ahead and import. Okay, so our import has finished. I'm going to go into tiny samples and here's a bunch of different games and projects. So I thought the coolest one was actually their match three game, believe it or not. So we're going to open that up and there's this UT project file in here called match three. So I'm going to double click on that to open it. And here we are. And now here's the biggest divergence, uh, the first divergence that you're going to see. When I click play here, it's not actually going to play in the game field. We'll see what happens. Oh, look at that. It opened our web browser up directly. Hang on, it's gone. And here's Tiny Arms Revenge. I'll just click and play it. Play. And here it is running on our desktop. Beautiful. So I'll close this off. Uh, the next thing that's kind of cool here is they give you an option to view this directly on your phone. You just take uh, a picture of the screenshot or this thing right here. And it says open 192 in Safari. And we hope everything works. Here it is, Tiny Arms Revenge on the iPhone. And it seems to be running pretty great. So, there you have it. That's how you set up a game with Tiny Mode. Okay, so let's talk about debugging this stuff because you're gonna wanna go into your scripts and take a look at all these files. So the first thing that you need to know is that they don't generally recommend using Visual Studio for these projects because it uses TypeScript instead of just normal C Sharp. So they recommend you use VS Code. I'm actually using JetBrains Rider as my IDE, but you can do basically whatever you want. So I'm going to double click this and see if it brings up my IDE. Hopefully it does. There it is in the corner. It's I'm recording just a quarter of my 4K screen here. And here it is. JetBrains Rider is a paid program from JetBrains. And I actually really like it. I use all their products for my web development stuff. So I'm kind of more in tune with, with their stuff. And it does seem to work with this TypeScript code here. So that's one cool thing that you can do. If you don't want to use Rider. Another thing you can do is go into your Unity preferences. I believe this is in file preferences on Windows. Oh, it's asking me to import something. Sure, I'll import text, test, text Mesh Pro. Why not? It didn't seem to hurt things when I was testing this earlier. So in your preferences, you now have a new menu called Tiny Preferences and you can change your IDE path to whatever you want. Again, they're recommending VS Code. I'm really happy with Rider and the fact that it's sort of just working off out of the box. It seemed like their, um, their code completion was actually working too, which is really nice. So I'll close that off. And, you know, to be honest, I probably can't walk you through any of this code right now. However, um, that tutorial that I showed you on the Unity site has uh, a lot of great information about how to program things in the context of tiny mode. Now, let's say you actually want to deploy this to your website. Uh, this was something that I didn't see documented, so I figured I'd cover it. When you click match three here, your build configuration can either be debug, development, or release. I'm actually not sure what the difference is between debug and development. Um, but when you're ready to actually deploy this, you can click release. Uh, I just thought of one other thing before I show you how to do the release. Let me show you what happens in the debugger itself. So 
I'm gonna actually run this thing in debug mode. It seems like this actually copies over the settings to when you hit play. But this is actually really helpful for once you start getting into this, you need to set breakpoints and figure out what to do. So let's wait for this game to come up. Okay, so here it is. What I like to do is I right click and I say inspect. That will bring up our developer tools. And let's see if I got a good way to move that. Okay. So if I go into sources and you go in this folder called tilde project tiny export, this TSC emit actually has a bunch of the code in it. So the TypeScript actually gets compiled down to regular JavaScript, but you should be able to search and find what you need in this file. Um, I feel like this is development mode. I feel like one time I went in here and they actually had each individual TypeScript file separately. So, you know, that's something that you might want to check on. I, I'm not really sure why that uh, this is showing up all in one file, but you should be able to set breakpoints and debug this pretty easily. There's just normal switch cases and all that type of stuff. Let's go into deployment. So here's my match three. Oh, it, it needs to do its thing here. Okay, so there's match three. And instead of debug, I'm going to build it for release and I'm going to click build. Okay, so I've brought up the folder where my tiny build actually was created. So Here's all my Unity projects. Here's tiny export here, match three, HTML five, and then there's the debug and release modes here. Um, so release is what you want to actually deploy to your web server, and it's actually in bin. So this is where the files are for your game, so you can go ahead and upload that to whatever web server that you have. So just a quick plug before I go, I run this site called Simmer.io. It's a place for Unity developers to share WebGL games uh, and soon to be tiny games. So if you go to this website, you can upload all of your old WebGL projects. And if you've created anything new for tiny, please send me an email. My email is Rocco at Simmer.io and we will work to get it on the site. I'm actually working right now to put those Unity demos on the site. There might be some manual stuff that we have to do to get it going, but I'm really excited to start getting these games that are gonna be compatible with the mobile web here. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you learned something here. So go ahead and actually look at those Unity videos about how to program for the Entity Component System. I think that'll be really helpful for you uh, as a next step.